Hey guys, so today I'm just going to do a bit of a test run with my GoPro. I've had this GoPro for about two weeks now and I haven't really used it. I just did one of my talking videos with it, uh, but I, I'm going to do some urban cycling videos, some how-to videos, videos on cycle infrastructure, that sort of thing. But before I can do that, I need to learn how to use the GoPro. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to put it on a chest mount and just go for a little cycle. I'm going to stick with the cycle path today. Um, cycling on roads around here is pretty risky and I just don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm just going to stick to bike path, deal with pedestrians. I don't know if this video is going to be useful for anyone, um, but most of the chest mount videos out there are mountain biking and extreme sports and stuff. And I'm just going to do a regular take it easy cycle on a cycle path. Um, and you know, maybe it's useful for someone. If not, it's going to be a test for me. So let's try and get the chest mount on and, and see how this goes. So see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, I'm also going to test out my audio. So I've got a cheap Lavalier microphone here off Amazon hooked to a Zoom H1N voice recorder and one of those fuzzy dead cat furry wind suppressor things as well. So I don't really know how to do audio doing cycling. So we'll give it a go, see how it works. But um, yeah, see you guys in a few minutes. All right, I think I've got everything set now. And like I said, I'm just going to do a nice, gentle cycle along this path. Let this guy go by. Yeah, then that way I won't have to deal with any cars. Um, I will have to deal with pedestrians, obviously. This path isn't the greatest. I'm going to do a whole video series on bad cycle infrastructure. But today's just a test, so yeah. Let's enjoy this nice, easy, easy cycle here. Thanks. So I'm here along the river Medway in Maidstone, Kent, England. So the southeast of England. Uh, I come here sometimes to do Deliveroo. It's a bit busier than where I live. I've also got a friend here, so thought this would be a good place to try out the GoPro. So we can shift up there. Yeah, we're going to come up to uh, already one example of bad cycle infrastructure, the dreaded cyclist dismount sign. Let's see if I can get away with not dismounting, but you know, anything that interrupts your flow is really annoying. Nice houses though. Oh, there's one bike coming. Cheers. All right, back on the uh, cycle path again. Well, footpath and cycle path. Yeah, this one's not too bad because it's not too busy. But um, a lot of the paths people will get really annoyed if you cycle on them, even if they are cycle paths. This one's actually, I believe this one's actually a national cycle route. Yeah, coming up to some more pedestrians. Yes. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, so as I said in the intro, oh, more people coming up. Thank you.
yeah, as I said in the intro, I'd like to do some how-to videos, how to cycle in urban areas, that sort of thing, especially here in the UK, where uh, the cycle infrastructure is just is particularly bad, and also the attitude of drivers isn't that great. And um, then I'd like to just talk about cycle infrastructure as well, uh, because it's really quite bad in this country. And um, of course, I'm going to talk about what could be done to make it better. Thanks. Coming up to a section of the path that's closed, so I'm going to have to yeah get around these people. Yeah, but that that cycle path is actually one of the better paths I've seen in the UK, which is pretty sad because it's not that great. There's obstructions. It's quite a narrow path. Um, you know, this part's closed, that's fine, you know, you can close the path, but it's not, not the greatest cycle infrastructure in the world. Doing my best not to, uh, Get too breathy on the audio. And it is also, oops, went the wrong way. Well, we can go this way, that's fine. Yeah, as I said, it is, well, maybe I didn't say it yet, it is quite a windy day. So I'm also testing the audio a bit. I've got a uh, Zoom voice recorder with one of those dead cat things. Uh, and um, yeah, we'll just see how that, how that works with the wind and my voice and stuff. You know, if it's acceptable, I'll publish this video on YouTube. If not, just gonna be a test for me, I guess. around the people. It's always a trick. Let's see. Alright, I did want to go through, I'll just get around these people now. I wanted to stay on the other side of the river and um, go through sort of a, an area that's really popular with pedestrians and runners, but uh, I made a wrong turn, so let's just do this a little bit on a road. It's a very quiet road and we'll see what kind of reaction we get from from drivers.
it really is quite windy. Almost done with that, and we'll try and get around these people and uh, get back on the other side of the river. Hi. Thanks. Hi. All right. on the river now. There was a guy feeding birds here earlier, so let's see if we get a cool flock of birds shot. The sky's gone, but the birds are still here, so uh, obviously don't want to run over anything, but come on birds. Thanks. Almost at the end now. I usually just can't be asked to talk to people because um, when you do delivery, you get heckled a lot. And uh, yeah, so I usually just ignore people and I've carried over into today because I got the GoPro on. going to break the rule. That sign says no cycling, but we'll sneak across the bridge here. And that's pretty much it. I really don't know how this is going to come out. I guess I'll um, go home and edit it. And if it's worth putting online, I'll throw it on YouTube. Um, I may try and do a time warp now and see how that goes. Maybe go the other way on the path. But yeah, that was it for today. Thanks very much for watching.